Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how you can go to midjourney.com, create a free account at Discord, and once you log in, you are now going to be able to create your very own avatar. So once we're logged into Discord at Midjourney, we are going to join a newbie room. So I'm going to join newbie room 136. It really doesn't matter. And now what you're going to do is you're going to type in down below backslash and the word imagine. This will allow you to enter your prompt. So for today's example, we are going to type in a teenage girl, age 13, holding a Chromebook, happy, silly, realistic, or you could even do um, Pixar style, whatever you want in your description. Now we're going to wait about 60 seconds. And once you do that, the computer will generate around four images. And what you can do is you can create different versions of the images that it presents to you. You can also create an upscale image. So here we go. The Midjourney bot is generating our image based on our description. And once it does so, you will be able to create upscale versions of that. So I'm going to pick, um, I want version four. I want to create some new versions of image four. So we're going to get some more versions to play with. I'm not sure what she's holding in her hand. So that's why I want to see a few different variations and it should be rendering any second. Here we go. Okay. The image has finished rendering. I can click on it and I can open it up in a new browser tab. And right off the bat, I know that I really like image number two. So I'm going to right click and save this whole image palette on my Google Drive. And now I can crop these into four separate images. Now I'm going to head on over to 11labs.io. I'm going to select the voice and these sound so realistic. You can even select the language if you would like. Now you're going to type in your text and you're going to scroll down to the bottom and click generate. You are going to be really impressed with the high quality of this audio recording. If you like the recording, you're going to just click download and download this audio recording to your computer. Now you're going to go to studio.did.com slash editor, log in with your account. You can do this at Canva, but I find it's much easier on their website. So you're just going to upload your avatar and there was a place that you could enter your script here, but I found that I ran out of characters um, with the free version. So I'm just going to upload the audio I created at 11 labs and click open. It is now being attached to the avatar coming soon. You will be able to record your own voice as well. So I'm really looking forward to that feature. Let's go ahead and click play. All right, it sounds good. So we're going to click generate video. Now, the free version at DID.com only gives you 20 credits, and I only have four left. The credits are based on how long your video is. So unfortunately, I did not have enough credits to generate a new video without paying, but this is where I generate the talking avatar here and you would just download the talking avatar if you were interested in the pricing it is um so the free account only gives you five minutes where if you pay um roughly five dollars a month then you will have a lot more time you'll have up to 16 minutes to create talking avatars so that is did.com and it is embedded in canva as an app that you can access through canva.com from DID.com, I took my video and I uploaded it to CapCut.com. This website is completely free. I went over to the smart tools and I removed the background. So that's an easy way to remove your background. It is now rendering. And then if you would like, you can make your background green so you can add it to we video and use the green screen editor. And of course this would work in iMovie or any video editing software as well. So that's how I put everything together. So then the final part is just exporting this video, downloading the video as an MP3 and going into your video editing software to add your top. It's a lot of fun.